I'm Annie Brown. And I'm Allie Sutton. And welcome to High Bridge 2021. We are so excited to be here on this kind of rainy, kind of chilly day, but we're just so, so excited to get this evening started. We're right here at the block party and behind us we've got some incredible musicians. We're gonna have a dance party later. We have food trucks and there's some people trickling in right now, but it's just the beginning. So and we are just getting started. What do you think, Allie? Absolutely, the rain won't scare us away. That's for sure. We're gonna have a huge dance party later. That's for sure. We have food trucks all around, amazing food for everyone to enjoy. And this is just a time to celebrate the the amazing films that our students, our film students, have put together this year. So I'm just so excited that we're still allowed to celebrate that this year. Yeah, well, we are about to go and see a few um, seconds of film about our three judges. But before we talk about that, let's just acknowledge that this is the 18th year of Highbridge. Isn't that crazy, Ali? Amazing. And this is a like a never before year. We yeah. have a brand new webcast that is never been done before and a live showing here at Asbury all at the same time. Our team is amazing for putting all of this together. Yeah and like let's just say like everyone from production to filmmakers to directors everyone has worked so hard on this and we are just so 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 excited to see what this night has in store and to see who gets to win Absolutely. some high bridge awards isn't that yes. so exciting it's so exciting you never know who's going to win all of yeah. the films are absolutely amazing yeah. and we're just so excited and thankful to be here yeah well we are gonna go um to a quick video about the three judges who've been flown in from all over to judge high bridge and i'm just so excited to see what this night has in store don't go away we'll be right back My name's Tyler Heisel. I graduated from, from Asbury in 2008, uh, jumped out to LA, and, and am now a uh, film and, and television writer. Uh, I worked on uh, things like Wayward Pines on, on Fox, uh, worked on a, a show called uh, Lore on Amazon, uh, just came off of a show called Treadstone for USA. Um, but you know, the bulk of what I do is in, is in the development space as well. I've got active projects right now with, with Ron Howard attached to direct and, and, and Bradley Cooper attached uh, at Paramount and, and Cuban Mafia project with Benicio Del Toro uh, attached to star over, over at Paramount. But uh, you know, coming from Asbury, uh, it's just been a lot of fun to, to, to come back uh, and to be a part of this event that is that uh, was such a formative thing for me when, when I was coming up. Uh, to, to be a part of it is something that's, uh, that's really fun and really special. My name is Kevin Bryan. I'm a director of photography, more often a camera operator, and try not to um, think more highly of myself than I ought, especially with the panel of speakers that we have here today. I've worked on uh, really smaller budgeted uh, features and then a lot of commercial work in the uh, Kentucky area. I have my own uh, video production company and we have a large drone arm to it and then we do regular production and then I get to get on a feature maybe maybe once a year and we're talking some really intense features like Hallmark, stuff that only my mom is going to see. But uh, it's fun and I love, I love the community of getting to do a, a small films like that. So I've worked on uh, one theatrical release called The Song a few years back um, and then maybe a half a dozen or seven uh, Hallmark films. Um, and then a number of Christian productions that are more episodic type things. Uh, um, done a few of those six to ten episode uh, type productions that get put on television. Uh, this is an amazing opportunity. I do really feel like the most underqualified of the judges, um, but because I work with a camera and, and, and video all the time, uh, it was interesting from the technical and the visual point of view to get to have some input on these uh, student films. And there were some really, really impressive ones. And uh, the whole time I'm thinking, man, I wonder if that person's available to edit or if that person's gonna want a job sometime. So it's, it's pretty exciting. There was some uh, really impressive work that this school puts out. 
Hey Highbridge, I'm Justin Tolley. I'm one of the producers and judges here at the Highbridge Film Festival. Uh, I've worked on a variety of faith-based films, um, everything from Fireproof in the early days to War Room and Overcomer now. Uh, uh, currently, I'm one of the producers of the television series, uh, The Chosen, which is going well. Thank you guys so much for having me out and it's been a, a great time. Welcome back to Highbridge 2021. I'm Ali Sutton and I'm here with the wonderful and beautiful Kendall Jablonowski. She has helped to put together Highbridge all semester long. So Kendall, could you tell me a little bit about the Highbridge class and what you have done to make all of this happen tonight? Absolutely. So I am in the special events class and taught by Prof Wold. And what we've been doing is working together to create an outdoor venue scene. Due to COVID and everything, it's been really hard to get Highbridge back in person because it was online last year. And so what we've been doing is working together as a team to create an outdoor stage presence. And I've been working with my team members, Paulette and Ashley Smith and Paulette Black. And we work together to create this outdoor vendor experience with outdoor food trucks, a DJ, and we've also put together some outdoor decorations. Amazing. So what are you most excited about after working on this all semester long? I think the most excited thing that I'm super ready for is the dance. Uh, we've put together a DJ and we put together a dance floor and a playlist, and we want the students to really want to stay at the after party. And so we've created that and I'm ready just to get down with my classmates and have a good time. Awesome. So what about this experience do you hope everyone enjoys tonight? I hope everyone enjoys the great food that's served from our wonderful vendors. And I hope everyone just has a great time being in person and gathering in community again because that's something that we've missed. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kendall. Well, next up, we will be get to hearing from one of Asbury's greatest film director directors this year, Will Menser. We're so excited to hear from him and all he has to offer about the film experience as a Highbridge film director. Let's take a look. Um, I'm Will Menser. I am a senior here at Asbury, so part of the appointed class, and I'm a media communications major with an emphasis in film. Um, I had the privilege of, of um, working on three um, really special projects, so I was excited from the get-go, um, especially because, you know, last year, um, last year was so different. Um, I was blessed to be able to, to get um, my film in Owl Creek, um, but we were all at home and and it was virtual and it was still wonderful but you know the idea that that we would all be together again um, for for this year's high bridge also made it very exciting so um, yeah getting to win last year was like it's it kind of crazy because I didn't expect it I genuinely didn't um, there were a lot of wonderful films last year and and it was also my first time sort of being in any festival situation um, so it was, it was such a great feeling and, um, I was very thankful. Um, I, I don't think anyone can prepare you for like how many like texts you get and how, like how many people reach out. I was kind of mind blown. I looked down immediately after they announced it and already had like 30 texts from people. Um, so, um, it's, it's a crazy experience and um, just thankful that I got to, to experience that at least once because it was, it was wonderful. Welcome back to the Highbridge 2021 Black Party. I'm Annie Brown and I am here with a lovely attendee, sophomore Maddie Anderson. Maddie, can you tell me what you're excited about for Highbridge this year? I am so excited to see stuff in person this year. It's been so kind of weird this year to see everything just on Zoom online and it's so nice to see everyone just enjoying the music and the food and everything in person today. So Yeah, is this your first time doing Highbridge in person? Because last year when you were a freshman, right, it was online. I am actually a transfer sophomore, so I went to Highbridge in person when I was visiting but I, it's so nice to see it in person and just to watch the films and see how the director's and screenwriter's mindset has been during like COVID and what prompted them to write everything. So it's been so nice to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. Have you seen the films yet? 
Oh, absolutely. I went to the seven o'clock showing last night. They were so good and uh, I just love them. Amazing. Do you have a favorite? I do. Accentuating Grace. It made me like sob. It, I was like pulling it together. It was that, was, that was such an incredible one. I just I, made me melt. So I, that is wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Maddie. We are so, so excited to see where this night is going to lead us. Right now, we are going to hear a little bit from Liz Poe. She is one of our female directors this Highbridge. And she is just incredible. She has two films right now in Highbridge. One of them is French Toast, and the other one is called Jaded. So we're going to hear from her in just a few seconds. But don't worry, we'll be right back for more. This Highbridge 2021, I'm Annie Brown. We'll be right back. Um, I think for each of them, I really just wanted to make a project that looked really pretty. Um, I wanted to give justice to a story and making sure that it was represented well and I think visuals and audio do a lot of that and I really wanted to target those kind of projects. Uh, well, it was definitely interesting having a much smaller set but I think for the projects that we did, I think it fit. I don't think we were asking too much of the people by doing more than one position. Um, I think you know adding masks was really the biggest you know running around you're freaking out in your mind but then you've also got this mask that's like I don't know but other than that it really wasn't too extremely different from what I've experienced on Asbury sets before other than the fact of masks. So this hybrid it's extremely exciting the fact that there are so many women um, in you know the running for these films and it, it's just exciting because I've I came into film wanting to, you know, break the majority that men, you know, dominate the industry. I think a challenge of being a woman in the industry in the future would be remaining professional. Part of me has had some experiences where people don't take you entirely seriously or um, they see you as, oh, well, you're the girl, you should be the talent. You should be the one in front of the camera. Guys don't want to be in front of the camera, you know. So it's, it's always like maybe you should know your place and the fact that I can be behind the camera. I can help call the shots. I can tell a story just as well, if not better, than the other guy. You know what does that say about my ministry and what the, the films that I make? So, honestly. Welcome back to Highbridge 2021. I'm Annie Brown. And I'm Allie Sutton. Well, what an incredible video about Liz that we just saw. You know, it is so amazing to see so many female directors. I believe there are eight films directed by women and three women directors in Highbridge this year, which is unheard of. Most most years, I believe, we haven't had that many female directors. Yeah, so we are just so excited to see so much female empowerment going on. But speaking of which, Allie, you are in one of the movies, right? I am. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience? Absolutely. I had the pleasure of working with Kylie Ward on her film, You Can Be Female, and it was just an absolutely amazing experience. Kylie is an amazing director and producer, and just her leadership on, on the film day was just amazing, and I was so thankful that I had the opportunity to be able to work with her, and I was just so blessed that she came up to me and asked me to be a part of it. And it was just a wonderful opportunity to be a part of and I'm I'm just so proud of every single director especially the female directors this year they've done an amazing job uh, showing it all that they can do yeah can you tell me a little bit about how that came about how you were cast as the lead absolutely so I actually um, Kylie reached out to me over winter break and text me and said hey, I'm writing a script and all I can think about is you. Will you please be the lead role in my film? And I said, absolutely. Any chance that I get to work with Kylie Ward would be amazing. So I jumped at the opportunity and was just so excited too that she thought of me to be a part of it. And so I hope everyone enjoys the film um, and just really soaks in the message that it's trying to convey. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. I had the pleasure of seeing that last night and you were incredible. But right now we are going to hear from one of our other female directors, Trinity Sparks, who has quite a few films in hybrid. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 
My name is Trin Sparks. I am a junior and I am a media communications major with a double emphasis in film and broadcast. My inspiration for Relatively Close was that I have a grandmother who has dementia. She has no idea who I am. And um, I've kind of always asked myself, like, what can I do to get her to remember me? Because she can only remember, like, her earlier life. And she had a friend in England that um, I was wondering if she remembered and like if I pretended to be that lady what would that be like type of thing but I just never really found a way to make it work so I was like well what if I made a movie about it kind of to give myself an idea of like planning out my own like how this would go and if it would really work and um, because it's hard when you have a family member that you remember and they don't know who you are. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like an experiment for myself that I never actually got to do, but um, it was kind of cathartic just like writing it and making it. Um, for in real life, I have OCD and um, I, I know that a lot of people stereotype it and they don't really they don't really know what it's actually like. And so my what I wanted for this film was I wanted people to watch it and have no idea what was going on, but just understand that it was hard. And then at the end, to have that revelation of like, you don't know what this is really like. And this is, this is what it's really like. And it's really hard to explain. It's really hard to go through. Um, like, I've had OCD my whole life. And when I met the first person in my life who actually had it, my first thought was, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't have that. Like, I have no idea what that's like, but there's different themes to OCD and there's different realities to it. And so just being able to portray as many of those as I can, um, that, that was something I really wanted to do. Welcome back to High Bridge 2021. I'm Allie Sutton. And I'm Annie Brown. We have people lining up over here as our as our singers are playing live music out here. It's absolutely amazing. We have the rain going on right now. I'm not letting that scare us away. That's no, for sure. No. It's a great vibe out here. We're having a great time. What about you, Annie? I mean, I'm a little chilly. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about you, Allie, but honestly, the vibes out here are so amazing. And it's just so fun to be celebrating here with everyone on all the hard work that everyone has done. You know, like, it just makes me so happy. Yes, absolutely. We're so thankful that we have the opportunity to celebrate all of our amazing directors, producers, writers, and actors. Everyone who has been a part of this year's High Bridge Film Festival has just put in so much work, and we're so glad that we get to be here to appreciate them and all of their amazing work. Speaking of their work, we have some films coming up for you to watch. 13 of them uh, are lined up for you to watch. And uh, let me tell you, they are all amazing. And I'm so excited that we get to watch them here with you. You have the comfort of having a VIP ticket at home, watching all of them in your warm homes while we're out here in the rain. But you know what? That is OK. We're all enjoying them together. Yeah. So please grab a blanket, grab some popcorn, because you all are in for a treat. I saw these films last night, and they are all incredible. You, If your parents or friends, you should be so proud of the people you know that have worked on them here. They are just incredible. So we're just so excited to share them with you, because they're amazing. Yes, absolutely. So be sure to stick around, watch all the films, and we have an award show coming up right after the film showing. So we're super excited to be able to see who Who's going to be all of our big winners tonight? Be sure to stay tuned. Yeah, I'm, I'm Andy Brown. I'm Allie Sutton. We'll see you real soon.
What have you done? Why didn't you kill me? What happened to you? Got left here by your friends, eh? Well, don't you have bandages? Just fix it yourself. Don't have any, I guess. Yeah, it's a real shame. Hush, didn't see me. Danke. It's not good, okay? I'm going to have to apply pressure to the wound. It's gonna hurt. Us. Help, hold it! Stop the bleeding. Corporal Thomas Clark, B Company. Identify yourself. It's Sprite, he can't English. Drop the knife or I'll shoot. Hey. <laughs> we need to take him into custody. Disarm him. Hey, give it to me. Lance Corporal, how did you get here? I uh, came over with my company, but we got turned around in no man's land. We are lucky to be alive. We pushed through here last night, took this part of the German position. We just set up a medical tent. Go and get yourself patched up. Thank you, sir. Take him to Commander Haig. Ah! Ah! 
Bitte! What will happen to him? I don't know. I would like to go with him. To escort him. You're injured. You need to go to the medical tent. I'm fine. I can walk. Let me go with him. Why? Why do you care about what happens to him? I don't know. I just do. Permission granted, Lance Corporal. found your match. Please follow me. Mr. Marks, your donor for your transfusion is being prepped in the next room. Wonderful, thank you. When can we begin the procedure? The procedure should begin in about 15 minutes. You won't feel or remember a thing. If everything goes well, you should be able to return to the capital by noon tomorrow. Perfect. Please, send my sincerest appreciations to the donor. Communication between the sick and the well is not permitted, Mr. Marks. Oh, uh... All right, then. Please sit down. Is she my I'm match? I'm gonna ask you to cooperate, sir. What have you done to her? Sir, please. Let me go! Mr. Marks, we've had a request and procedure change. We're going to be- Miss, I, 
I'm afraid this whole thing is unnecessary. I've been feeling fine for weeks now, and anything that would distract my work at the Capitol would just be... Procedure uh, change comes from the Capitol, Marks. Don't worry. We're only going to be making the process quicker so that you can return to work. Miss, I, I honestly feel fine, and anything disrupting that would just be a waste the of time. The Capitol's choice is final. I don't think this is the right time. I, I would like more time, and I'm fine with waiting for another match. The procedure is happening today, Marks. There's nothing that we can do to... Per my capital status, I would like to Marks, request... Marks, the sick are not able to come to conclusions I demand a donor change, and that's final. Now, you can listen to me, or you can protest the capital officer. Miss, we need to discuss the patient's procedure. Prior patient's action will require more. What did you do? What did you do to her? She better be okay. She better be okay. She doesn't deserve this. Let her go. She didn't deserve this. She didn't deserve this. How dare you make the mess out of me? How dare you? How dare you? Having fun, Dad? Do we? Hey. Hey, come on, sit with me. Oh, let's go, I'm freezing. Uh, just, just for a minute. I, I don't get to see you anymore. Can't imagine why when we have such nice conversations. So, the kids, they having fun with their mom? Seriously, Dad? Why don't you tell me these things, Davey? You know how I found out? Your mom called me. That's how bad you screwed up. Your mother called me. Before you lecture me on my mistakes, think about where you are and why you don't have your keys. Come on, I'm taking you to Carol's. What happened to a minute? I can't feel my nose. I don't know. I don't, 
I don't want her to see me like this. You have money for a hotel? David. It's a hotel or Carol's. I mean, I was hoping. I believe this. What's the matter, David? I, I know you're upset with me. Really? It just seems like it's more than that. You really want to do this? Come right? on, David! You yelled at your kid. It's not the end of the world. You can apologize. She'll forget all about it. She'll be fine. That guy was fine. Great. Maybe. I'm glad you still think you were a great dad. Standing here at 3 a.m. drunk. I'm glad you can live with that delusion. Davey, you want an apology? Fine. I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry. I was, I was a bad father. Doesn't change anything. Maybe that's why I don't see you anymore. Because when I look at you... You see yourself. Oh, you're right. You can't change history. My dad hit me, so I hit you, so you hit your kids. Hey, hey, I never hit them, and you didn't hit... How drunk are you? So you didn't hit your kid? No. I never hit them. You, uh... You get drunk around them? No. Never. Davy, your father was a drunk who yelled at you. He wasn't a good dad. But maybe, just maybe he was a little bit better than his dad was to him. Not much, but a bit. I'm not saying you're a good dad. But if you're just a little bit better than I was to you, maybe that's enough. And maybe Katie can grow up to be better than either one of us. That's, that's all I'm, that's all I'm trying to say. I, I'm sorry. We can, we can go now. There's a hotel right up the street. Shut up a second. One night. What? One night on my couch. Sleep it off. That's all right, Davey. You don't have to. Dad, I'm freezing cold. Can we go? Thank you.
safe. Amen. Jesus Christ, please bless my food. Jesus Christ, amen. Please keep me safe. Amen. Jesus Christ, please bless my food. Amen. Jesus Christ, please keep me safe. Amen. Jesus Christ, please bless my food. Jesus Christ, please keep me safe. Amen. Jesus Christ, please bless my food. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. You all haven't touched your food. How much longer? No, don't. It's okay. What did you just say? I said it's okay. None of this is okay. Honey. We don't know. It, it could be any minute. But can't we just go? No, Allie. We're going to stay here and have this dinner. You are going to stay here and eat this dinner. Along with me, your brother, and your mother. That's all we're doing, is having a nice, quiet dinner. Oh, do you have something to add? Yeah, this family is a joke. Max. No, it's okay. Is it? Well, God knows how many times he's treated us like we're not the ones who brought him into this world. But you don't agree with him. So this, right here, the four of us, right now, this is the joke? And everything we've built? And look at everything it's turned into. My own son won't even look me in the eye and won't give you so much as a smile. Our daughter clearly wants to be here in our final moments. And the last time the words I love you came out of your mouth is a distant memory. <laughs> That's not a joke. I don't know what is. Then what are you going to do about it?
You're scared, aren't you? Is it going to hurt? No, we won't feel a thing. It'll be like waking up from a dream. And when it's all over, we'll still be together. You really believe that bull? Yes, Max. I really do. Do you remember the last time you told me you loved me? Michelle? I had an affair. What? I am so sorry. You're sorry? Are you sorry for everything we've built, too? Mom, what kind of tea is this? It's so good. Who was it? Your brother, Alex. It's actually not that good. <clears throat> you were on a business trip, and he came by to check on us, and we had a few drinks, and some choices were made. It was all my fault. And I wanted to tell you as soon as it happened. I just didn't think that you would... You didn't think I would what? Forgive you? I couldn't even forgive myself. I'm just glad it wasn't with someone better looking than me. You know what? I think we might have time for a song. What do you think? Suggestions? Let's listen to- No. You got to pick the food. Let them choose. Babe? You remember that family trip we took to the Bahamas? And there was that street performer who could only play the one song? We sat and listened to him for hours. I put the kids to sleep. We should join them.
pathetic. She's your grandmother, for goodness sake. You can't sit with her for two minutes. She's not herself. She's a shell of a human being. So, um, what have you been doing recently? I don't know. Who are you? This is the first time that you visited her in months. Look, I can't stand looking at her like that. She doesn't know who I am. It's different. And how is that fair to me? I help her get dressed. I take her to the bathroom. I do her laundry and take care of her medication. I can't do this by myself. Look, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do to make it up to you? She has all of these old pictures and letters and stuff from when she was younger. I was gonna sort through them, but now that's your job. <laughs> Even if she doesn't know you, I hope that you get to know her. My dear Catherine, things have been so lonely since you left England. I went on that date with Charles. I think he likes me. I can't believe you were right about him. Caroline. You knew a Caroline growing up. Can you remember back that far? Caroline Brown. So you do remember her. Tell me more about her. About who? About Caroline Brown. Oh. I have some of your letters here. Well, how'd those get there? Do you want to talk about them with me? About who? About Caroline Brown. Catherine, it's so good to see you again. You look like my old friend Caroline Brown. That's who I am, silly. I remembered I hadn't seen you in a while and I decided to come to the States. That's so nice of you. Well, I've missed you, dear. I've missed you too. Would it be alright if I visited you for a couple of days just to have time to talk? Remember when you gave me these? Remind me. You had them carefully shipped so they wouldn't get broken. They were a wedding present. We used to go on such adventures, didn't we? You went to Mount Rushmore. This is your recipe. Did I get it right? I tried really hard. It's almost perfect. You just didn't add enough spice to it. Where do I know you from again? I'm Caroline Brown. Oh, Caroline! Thank you for visiting me today. I really appreciate it. Caroline, right? Oh. My. It's not what you think. You're pretending to be someone else when you visit Grandma. Okay, it is what you think. What is wrong with you? I finally find out who's visiting her and it's just you? Why would you trick her I'm like that? I'm not tricking her. I'm using one of her memories to have a real conversation with her. Is that what you did with her boxes? Look, I just thought it would help me talk to her, and it did. But you lied to her! If it helps her to remember me in some way, then it's worth it. Go home! Watch! Catherine, hello, it's me, Caroline. It's so nice to see you again. Caroline, I've missed you. But we saw each other yesterday. Yesterday? I haven't seen you in years. 
Nonsense, you told me all about your high school graduation. Grandma, you... Don't you remember? Give it up, Anna. You're only confusing her more. on your sweater. Oh, thank you. I don't know how long I've had them. <laughs> Do you know you're my grandmom? No. Yes, uh, I'm Anna. I'm 17 and you are 85 years old. Can you believe it? Oh, I, I can't be that old. I'm I'm 39, aren't I? <laughs> you may not remember me, no matter how many times I tell you who I am, but I want you to know that I want to be a part of your life and help keep you happy. I will always be here for you because I will always love you. Thank you. You used to sing songs with me when I was little. I did? I don't remember. Mom says you still remember some songs and how to sing. We used to sing the You Are My Sunshine song. Do you still remember it? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Video chat, Aiden. Hey. Hey, I'm here. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll come right down. Um, what are you wearing? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I just got off work. I just... Babe, you asked me to come over, Hey, we've right? been over this. I know. I just... I thought... That you would come over in your work clothes. Please don't do this again. Don't do what, Jade? You know the rules. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Yeah, I know that. Well, I'm here. I don't know what you want me to do. Aiden, come on. I cannot let you up here. Again. I haven't seen you since I've been out of the quarantine. I miss you. So? It's not that big of a deal. Seriously? I'm tired. I just got Jade, off work. Jade, do just not let me raise in. your voice at me. Aiden, come on. Just let me in. We can talk about this inside. Quit where... being an idiot. Just go home, change your clothes, come back here. Are you kidding and we'll me? Have a good night. Are you serious? You're crazy. If you... call me crazy one more time, Aiden. Aiden?
Still funny though, right? I just really want to see. It's really not. I thought I was gonna get kidnapped or something. You're just as crazy as my ex. Don't call me crazy. Morning ID 998. Your sleep patterns were off the charts last night. You okay, 98? It was just a nightmare. Again? Today is selection day for Gen X. IDs, please make your way to the Dromos. We should get going. Attention IDs, this is selection day. Your wrist devices will give you a 30 second countdown to choose your portal. Failure to comply will lead to termination. Begin. Next. 98. Do you know which door you'll choose? Next. Next. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Eight. 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 Alex? Honey, are you okay? Those are both great schools. I know this is a hard decision. Alex, I want you to know 
No matter what school you choose, I will always be proud of you.
Caregiving for someone with dementia is like being the mother of a toddler, minus the car seat. You take slow walks. You make certain they visit the restroom often. You take out the trash daily. The last two years, I've been caregiving for Grace. When I arrive in the mornings, she reads my name off the calendar. You're my helper, Virginia. Yes, Grace, I'm Virginia. And in the evenings, she says, now you get home safe, 
I love you. The first time she said it, I hesitated and slipped out. Could I say that? She seemed so confident. Could I be? We spend hours in the same room. We watch Oklahoma, she knits dish rags, I study. We walk arm in arm in public. She pushes the cart at the grocery. We talk to the cheese guy and our cashier. I've learned to hold her arm with my elbow tucked on my hip. She knows I've got her, but she's leading the way. On her more independent days, she doesn't want me. So I walk in front of her while she yells from behind, I can see you. There's nothing like being judged by the neighbors for abandoning an ornery old blind woman seven feet behind you. Nonetheless, we're a team and we move down the field. We entered the coronavirus like everybody else, except the restrictions came sooner. Isn't that a pretty colorful way <laughs> of, of being protected? Oops. You have to be careful not to knock your hearing aids out. Okay, knock them both out, but I can put them back in. The senior center shut down. No more exercise classes, no more love on a leash, no more mosaic glass art. We were confined to the condominium. And bridge on Mondays until the condo parlors closed and the doormen were laid off. No more bridge. So we retreat to 6L. The follow-up appointments are canceled and we start using home remedies for pain. Now the groceries are delivered, and I miss our Kroger cashier, Gail. She always carded Grace when Grace bought her yingling. In quarantine, we came up with our own entertainment. We decided to make a movie. Grace would be the star, of course, and I would practice my camera work. Today? Hmm. What am I going to do today? Um accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good starting credo to live by i think accentuate the positive by ben crosby became our theme song when the terrors of dementia overwhelm i was always prompting grace with it in turn she started prompting me and then it goes again you got accent Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. De latch on to the affirmative and don't mess with Mr. In Between. The end. <laughs> Within two days of our movie making, Grace broke our quarantine. The home remedies quit working and her daughter took her to the ER for abdominal pain. I received two texts. One, Grace needs surgery, but her labs are good. I was relieved, but concerned. She was in the hospital, not our Hanover Tower. The second text came. We've decided not to operate. A few days or weeks. How could Grace fade that fast? She's amazing, Grace. Night, Gracie. I love you. I'm so grateful. 
She was right. We do love each other. And I learned to say it. That's the way life goes. It, there are <laughs> the times when people pass and and then they're with our Lord and and no longer treading the earth and and we're grateful for the time that we had together. And that's the way I feel. I'm grateful for the times that we did have because they were wonderful. Good morning, Chef Teddy. What's on the menu today? Your favorite. My favorite? What's that? French toast. Standing on your head. I don't think so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Mom, what you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Chef Mom. <laughs> Just cutting strawberries. Mm. Oh, I need to turn the stove off. Mabel, thanks for meeting with me. How's your week been? Um, it's been pretty uneventful, but good. That's good? Well, I wanted to talk to you about an event coming up. Uh, it's your junior year and you're still undecided on your major. Is this another class you want me to try? No, no, it's um... It's job fair. I thought it'd be helpful in getting you started out. Maybe I'll find something that interests you. Where would I even start? I don't know. Do you have any dreams or hopes about your future? It could even be something from your childhood. Anything that might spark an interest. What always helped me was using my imagination. Try closing your eyes and imagining what your future might look like.
What do you see? It's dark. Is there anything more than that? There's a spotlight on me. I can't really see anything else. All right. Try thinking about something you like doing. It can be anything. I don't know where to go. What should my life be? It all feels wrong. But what's right for me? I can help you, I can. We'll figure out a plan. We'll get you on the right track. You won't need to look back. You need money. You could work at a bank Behind a desk telling Mrs. Cox Her loan is due on the 8th It's not bad And it's stable If you like it, you'd be able To see the world with all your Vacation days I can see you're not buying it Good one We can find the right fit Pre-med, nursing, or Anesthesiologist I know it's not perfect But I know we can make a plan Look inside your head Would you want to be Superman? Maybe you can dream Until then I'm not gonna leave I'd like it if you would God, I do feel so Find the light in this some way Maybe, maybe Find out today Counseling's nice if you like people I don't Love coming to work every day Why? Do you have a problem with what I do for you? No, it's just that I don't want to do it too Ever think about being a vet? Animals are gross Have you ever seen a frog? Maybe you thought about teaching. I'd rather put down a family's dog. I bet you'd be a great garbage man. On what planet is that a good plan? Astronaut? I'd rather not. Well, let's think bigger. What's your craziest dream? I want to be a singer. Maybe it's Mabel 
I'm going to audition. I'm so proud of you, Mabel. You've got this. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. i got to get to class. Oh, wait, Mabel, before you go... Well, she probably doesn't need this anyway.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, our award show will start very shortly. I encourage you to come up here and celebrate. Thank you, I heard that, thank you. 8.50, 8.50, I come here at 8.50, celebrate these amazing films that these students worked really hard on. So much time and energy went into making these films and it would be greatly appreciated if you guys were here to celebrate uh, just amongst each other. Uh, food trucks are great, hope you got something very good, but please come up to this stage. Again, the award show will start at 8.50, come up here, mingle with your fellow peers. <laughs> and have a great time. Thank you all for coming to this. Enjoy the High Bridge Awards. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Where are your peers? Oh, my God. You saw him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Come celebrate with me, Pierre. Nate, I need his embrace. I saw him. And I was like, oh, he needs a crowd. Exaggerated. It turned oh, out to just be Greg Hasselhoff at the golf cart. <laughs> yeah, I almost fell off a couple times. Yeah, she did fall off. Okay, you don't have to tell them that. You're okay. Good, all right. Morgan, we have a lot of people watching online now. Yeah. Yeah, we should give them a shout out. Shout out to people online. Let me hear you. They can't hear you, Jackson. It's online. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's right. Pill, okay. That's right. All right. That's right. You know what? Let's just let's get back to the competition, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we should. Yeah, that's right. The okay. producers can't shut us down this time. Right. Okay. So this what are we gonna live, do? Um, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is live. Okay. So um. Let's uh, let's do a paper airplane folding competition. That sounds like, like an that. excellent idea. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here it goes. All right. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Morgan, hurry up! It's uh, the time is clicking. Oh, why? What? It's a fine okay, specimen. Okay, okay, okay. It's one of my best. What? All right. Why did go you ahead. Make go ahead. Throw yours. Throw oh, it. You know what? Throw it. Mine's, mine's going to hey. fly farther, okay? Oh. Well, that's a real shame there, champ. You know what? I don't I don't you like this. That. I don't like this anymore. That, Why, that was you... a bad idea. We need a new competition. Why? Because you suck at that one? <laughs> oh, okay. Smart okay. talk for a big guy. Let's, okay. um, let's do, uh, let's draw an audience member. Draw an audience yeah, member. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds good. Okay, Eeny, let's see who's out meeny, there. Is Demarion Demarion Johnson? Johnson? Where's Demarion Johnson? Is Demarion Johnson is he here tonight? Out there somewhere? Where is he? Demarion, come on up, Demarion, buddy. get up here. Come on. Come on, where's he at? Come on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Where come is around he? this come way. Come on, King. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. All right. You Such stand right there. Leap. You stand right there and face me. Face us. Okay. We got to draw you. Okay. All right, here we go. Morgan, you want a pen? Oh, man, I wanted blue. It's <laughs> a hot mess. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my God. Gonna, I got you. I got you. All right. Okay, all right, right, right. Wow. All right, here we go. Can somebody start counting down from 30, please? All right. Yeah. Yeah. 29, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, I guess. Right, right, right. Look at that! What? Oh, look at that! Look at this drawing! It's so good! All right, all right. Yeah, let's uh, let's see yours, Jackson. I, that's okay. Come on, Biggie. Come on, let's see it. No, no, it's it's okay. It's okay. Let's just turn it around. Just turn it around. Oh, what is that? What is that? All right, give it up for Demario, yeah. everybody. How did you even do that? It's got colors and everything. Yeah, I gave you one I color. I know. I'm just that good. Oh, my goodness. You know what? You don't have to be such a show-off, Morgan. Um, 
isn't that just what a competition is about, though? You know, Morgan, I've, I've been thinking. You have? That's kind of that's dangerous for you, isn't it? I've been thinking. Yeah? You know, on the golf cart right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have a competition anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, was it actually ever one to begin with? You're on thin ice, Morgan! Uh, okay. No, but this is essentially a whole new audience now. We can, we can reinvent ourselves, Morgan. Yeah, but um, why would I want to do that? You're making this harder! Um, you know what? Fine. It's fine. I, I have the results right here. They're you do? Um, For our yes. competition? Yes, they're, okay. um, they should be. Did you lose them? I'm uh, at, Olivia, did you? Okay, no. How, how do you lose something like that? I don't know, Morgan. Maybe I wanted to lose them. What? You know, because, Morgan, you see, this, this friendship means a whole lot means a whole lot more to me than a competition. You know, it yeah. does. The last four years being your friend, especially through Shrek, and other countless things have been a, yeah, a joy yeah. to be known. Okay, okay, this is a load of crap. Let's just get back to the competition. All right. Okay. Well, we all came to see who the winners are. Yeah, for that's right. That's right. Selected films. And hopefully you've uh, had a chance to vote for your favorite films by now. If not, uh, the, the poll's, poll's closed. It's too late, guys. Come on. Yes, and without it's further late. introduction, we would like to bring up somebody who means a lot to the media comm department here at Asbury University. Uh, that's right. Heather Hornby. Give it up for Heather. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So I'm about to announce the first award for tonight. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. It is my honor to present a special award for best lighting. The award for best lighting goes to Brett Lipner for Shattered. Are you here, Brett? Is he coming? Okay. Hitchcock once said, for me, the cinema is not a slice of life, but a piece of cake. Hopefully tonight you've enjoyed the taste of the students' films because we are very, very, very proud of the hard work they have put into it. I have the privilege of presenting the best cinematography and best editing awards tonight. DP Freddie Francis said, there's good cinematography, bad cinematography, and cinematography that's right for the movie. It was difficult for our judges to settle on one, but we told them, this is the way. <laughs> so they awarded Best Cinematography to Matthew, Smit Matthew Smitley for Hostia. He could not be here tonight, so we would like to invite up Josh Sanders to accept the award. He was the producer for the film. is one of those things that you never sh you should never notice. Editing, if it is good, will make you completely forget that the film was edited. It will make you laugh, it will make you cry, or it could make you hungry. Tonight we have two editing awards, and the editing awards definitely went to the films that made us cry. 
The best graduate film editing goes to Virginia Hutton for accentuating grace. And the winner of the best undergraduate editing goes to Cooper Boss for Like You. Movies are as much about sound as they are about sight. Um, if you aren't convinced of the importance of sound in a motion picture, just consider this. It's entirely possible to change a horrifying thriller into a laugh-inducing comedy just by changing what the audience hears as they are watching it. Clear dialogue, well-placed sound effects, and emotional music pull the listener into the story and bring the images to life. This year's winners have demonstrated this with their excellent work. The winner for best sound design is Chris Phelps for Hosta. And the winner for uh, best original score is Chris Phelps, <laughs> The Lantern. Why, thank you. Oh, all right, well, telling truth in film is no easy feat. Reality captured through a camera is nothing without the perspective of the one crafting the story. We can all shoot videos, but the documentary filmmaker is the one who can take seemingly disparate elements and combine them together to show the audience a cohesive and, co and compelling storyline that allows us to glimpse the world with new eyes. And this year's graduate winner is no exception. The winner of Best Graduate Documentary goes to Virginia Hutton. Well, we saw a lot of visual effects tonight. A lot. And uh, I'm just going to cut right to the chase on this one. We have two visual effects awards this evening. We have a tie, actually, uh, for visual effects. And so I'm going to need both of the winners to come on stage here. Uh, the first one is for Chris Phelps for the film Dromos. And the second one is for um, Chris Phelps, for Siren. So Chris Phelps and Chris Phelps. Oh, hey, hey.
I have the honor of presenting three awards, awards tonight, Best Actor, Best Actress, and the most important award of the night, Best Screenplay. <laughs> Geraldine Clark said, an actor is a fool for God. Maggie Smith said, there's a kind of invisible thread between the actor and the audience. And when it's there, it's stunning, and there is nothing to match that. In a performance that exemplifies these two ideals, the award for Best Actor goes to Lucas Ross, Hostia. Holly Hunter said, I feel like telling stories is a spiritual exercise, and I think that it's something that we need as a culture and as humans. You put your nightmares up there. You put your dreams up there. And people can see them better because they can stand outside of it and recognize themselves inside it. For bringing the nightmare to life, to helping us better to see, the award for Best Actress goes to Yoli Lewis, Jaded. Yoli, if, is Yoli here? Could Liz Poe please come up and accept for Yoli? Stella Adler reminds us, the word theater comes from the Greeks. It means the seeing place. It is the place people come to see the truth about life and social situation. Albert Camus states, the purpose of a writer is to keep civilization from destroying itself. For taking us to the seeing place, the award for best screenplay goes to Kylie Ward, Hostia. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Are you guys cold up here? Yeah. Woo, so am I. All right, um, so I'm here to um, give the awards for best director, uh, for best picture, and for servant leadership award. Uh, so I will start with best director. The profession of a film director can and should be a high and precious one that no one aspiring to it can disregard any knowledge that will make them a better director or human being. These were good words from Sergei Eisenstein that still resonate with this position. A wise director infuses this advice into their craft. They learn to value their crew and guide them towards a common goal. They learn that they cannot simply be a passionate storyteller, but that they must learn to collaborate. As an artist, it is their job to strive to communicate the, the film they see in their head to their teammates so they can, their story can truly shine. They must also understand that this is a journey and not a sprint. This year's best director has a big voice, but deeply understands the wisdom of listening. I pray this continues. This year's award for best director goes to Kylie Ward. <laughs> Samuel Goldwyn once said, the harder I work, the luckier I get. 
Producing a film is tough work and requires persistence, patience, and above all, passion. Some producers can work on one project for years before it even actually gets produced. And you have, more, and you have to have more love to get a film made. And while it can be true that more funding can open more doors, as filmmakers begin, we learn to work with what we have and find that creativity lies not within our budget, but in the resources we do have and the drive we have to tell our stories. After all, big bucks aren't the crux of a best picture award. Big ideas done creatively are, and boy, have we had to get creative in this pandemic. This year's award for best picture goes to Kylie Ward. She'll share that with Josh Sanders. I know you're out there, wink, wink. Good job, producer, and good job, Hostia. <laughs> there you go, Josh. <laughs> In the film industry, below the line is a counting term used to separate the story and script writers, producers, directors, actors, and casting directors, those above the line, from the rest of the crew. Yet it is often the hard work and dedication of the crew members that serve the creative vision of a film the most. Without them, the story would never light upon the screen. Two years ago, we introduced a new award, the Servant Leader Crew Award. It is drawn from nominations by film directors for the below the line crew members and their teams that went above and beyond on their sets. The student receiving this award this year gave of himself and his talents for countless films this year. One director said, of this student, and I quote, continually impresses me with his ability to show the love of God to his crew. While well, another director said that by giving so generously of his time and talents, he makes films at Asbury immensely better. This student has served in many roles, among them cinematographer and colorist. This year's Servant Leader Crew Award goes to Eliezer Wilson for in real life and meaning of life. you've all been waiting for. So without further ado, oh, we to gotta get a full You don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> oh, Olivia! All right. Well, the audience, the 2021 Audience Choice Award goes to French, French Toast, Toast, Liz Poe! Yay! Come on, Jackson. Is there an award? Do you have a medal? Stick around for a photo. I think somebody wants to take a photo. Yeah. I don't know. Pausing for, pausing yeah. for pictures. Somebody we got pictures picture. of them. Take a picture. They're yeah. right there. They're I don't know. Are they happening? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's you still? Well, hey, thank you guys so much for coming to the 2021 Highbridge Film Festival. Woo! Make sure you stick around. We're going to start a dance party with a DJ and food trucks. That and will not involve me. Hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> well, check out those food trucks, though. They're pretty good. Welcome back to the Highbridge Film Festival. Oh my goodness, Annie, what an amazing night it has been. The films were amazing, the award show was amazing, and oh my goodness, Hostia swept the awards tonight. How about that? Oh my gosh, I am just so, so proud of Kylie Ward and all the work that she has done. I think it is so well deserved that she got Hostia. But 
I am so excited because we have the after party starting right now. Are you just not so excited? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dance the night away. Thank you all so, so much for listening and watching. So thankful to have you all here. I'm Allie Sutton. And I'm Annie Brown. We'll, we'll see you next year. year.